Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad al imma al mahdina wa sallim taslima This is the book of Tariq Ma Ba'da Dhuhur written by a Sayyid al-Sadr rahimahullah When you go to page 645 from this book here it is you find that the Sayyid is talking about what will happen with Imam al-Mahdi alayhi salam he says وَمِنْ هُنَا سَيَقُومَ الْإِمَامِ بِتَعِينُ وَلِيَ عَهْدَهُ أَوْ خَلِيفَتَهُ خِلَالَ حَيَاتَهُ وَرُبَّمَا فِي الْعَامِ الْأَخِيرِ لِيَكُنْ هُوَ الْغَئِيسِ الْأَعْلَى لِلْدَوْلَ الْعَالَمِيَّ الْعَادِلَ بَعْدَهُ وَالْحَاكِمْ الْأَوَّلْ لِفَتْخَةِ حُكُمَ الْأَوْلِيَاءِ الصَّالِحِينَ So Sayyid al-Sadr, Rahmatullahi alayhi, he's saying, hence the Imam will appoint his higher apparent or successor during his lifetime and perhaps in the last year so that he would be the supreme head of the justice state after him and the first governor of the rule of the good guardians. So as you can see here, he is mentioning the Khalifa. سيقوم الإمام بتعين خليفته The Imam will appoint his successor. So there is a successor after Imam al-Mahdi alayhi salam and he is present at the lifetime of Imam al-Hujjah Muhammad ibn al-Hassan al-Mahdi alayhi salam. And then look what he says here. He says, وَبَرِغُمْ مِنْ أَنَّ هَذَا الْحَاكِمْ قَدْ يَكُونْ هُوَ أَفْضَلْ مِنَ الْأَحَدْ عَشَرِ الْآتِينَ بَعْدَهُ بِاعْتِبَارْ أَنَّهُ نَتِيجَةْ تَرْبِيَةِ الْإِمَامِ الْمَهْدِي شَخْصِيًّا وَالْمُعَاصِرِ أَقْوَالِي وَأَفْعَالِي وَأَسَالِبَ بِخِلَافْ مَا سَيَأْتِي بَعْدَهُ مِنَ الْحَاكِمِينَ بِرُغُمْ is better than the 11 Mahdi's that will come after him. So he believes in the 12 Mahdi's and he considers them as rulers. And he mentions the first one to be the successor of Imam al-Mahdi, Khalifata, and the first governor uh, after Imam al-Hujjah, Muhammad ibn al-Hassan al-Mahdi alayhi salam. So he says, although this ruler could be the best of the 11, after him, as he is educated by Imam al-Mahdi, Alayhi salam personally. He is educated by Imam al Mahdi alayhi salam personally and he is contemporaneous to his words, deeds, and methods, in contrary to the rulers who will come after him. So he will be incredibly different from the Mahdi alayhi salam himself, as life is of no good after him. Sayyid al Sadr says here, yes, no doubt that Imam Mahdi alayhi salam before he passed has affirmed and stressed with frequent global declarations on the need to obey his successor, on the need to obey his successor, and to deeply consolidate the rule of the virtuous guardians in the minds of people. But the humanity would not have reached the required degree of perfection, and thus it will be engrossed in disobedience and mutiny in more than one occasion. Ahmed, Ahmed, ya mafkur, bil Qur'an wa bil Injil, bil Tawati wa bil Zahur. Ahmed, Ahmed, ya mansur. في أول مباشرة النبي صلى الله عليه وآله إعلان دعوته للمجتمع حين دعا حيرته الأقربين وكان أول من آمن به وأجاب دعوته أمير المؤمنين علي بن أبي طالب سلام الله عليه واستمرت إلى الغيط الحاضر وستبقى إلى يوم القيامة وستبقى إلى يوم القيامة متمثلة بالإمام المهدي عليه السلام في المستقبل ومن يكون بعده من الخلفاء المجاهدين وأغلى بعده من الخلفاء المجاهدين من بعده من الخلفاء المجاهدين من بعده من الخلفاء المجاهدين There is no doubt that the taklif will remain after the martyrdom of Imam al-Mahdi 
and his state will last until the Day of Judgment because the duration of Imam Mahdi's rule is very short that goes from 5 years to 40 years as the Hadith of Ahlul Bayt reports. This duration is short if we compare it to the life of humanity that lived in the falsehood state that lasted for thousands of years. So don't think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make the state of falsehood last for a thousand years whereas the state of truth would only last for 40 years. This is unacceptable. And the martyr Sayyid al-Sadr rahimahullah, Sayyid Waqir al-Sadr, he has indicated to this in the book Al-Mustama al, al fayauni page 175. This book, it compiles the lectures of Sayyid Muhammad Baqir Sadr and it mentions what he said during one of his lectures. He said, Al-Mahdi, peace be upon him, will destroy all the causes of corruption and deviation. And on top of that, he will destroy the pharaonic injustice and tyranny and he will establish the fairness and equity and draws its means in all aspects of human life. Then after him, then after him, will come 12 successors who will deal with people according to these means that are put by the supervision of Al-Hujjah, Al-Mahdi, peace be upon him. During the rule of the 12 successors, the society will be proceeding towards the integration and advancement. <laughs> This is the book of al Mu'ud, the promised day. Bain al Fikr al Madi wa Dini la Sayyid al Shaheed Muhammad Sadaq al Sadr, Qaddis Allah Sayyid. So when you go to page 365 from this book, you would find him here saying, Wa illa fi min al Sab and al Tasawa and al Bashariya ashat alafan. طويلة من أعوام الظلم والمشاكل والحروب لكي تكون النتيجة هي السعادة لمدة عدة سنوات أو عدة عشرات من السنين فقط بل إن ذلك لن يكون محسوسا خلال تاريخ البشر الطويل السابق عليه واللاحق له أحسيني وعضيدي أحسيني وعضيدي وستبقى إلى يوم القيامة متمثلة ذلة بالإمام المهدي عليه السلام في المستقبل ومن يكون بعده من الخلفاء المجاهدين بعده من الخلفاء المجاهدين بعده من الخلفاء المجاهدين أحمد أحمد يا مذكور بالقرآن وبالإنجيل بالتوراة وبالزبور أحمد يا نور